Hi everyone, uh, this is Vidur. Uh, I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. And in this video today, we are trying to understand how we can uh, configure an SSID for web authentication. And we will try to leverage the internal uh, guest portal that Mist has hosted in the cloud. So uh, we're going to start by quickly going to the dashboard. Uh, Mist dashboard and I've created the org named Vidur with, in which I have a site Vidur home. Uh, what I can do is I can switch quickly back to the test site and you know I can I can start the configuration here so in my previous video if you remember we have configured the dot Linux society and the PSK society and today we're going to go to config templates from here and this is the test template that I created for PSK and uh, dot Linux. I'll click on that and there we go if you want to understand what all these options really mean we can I, I can I can give you a link to my other video that is in, in which I created the PSK society you have all the options of you know all the options are explained pretty well there so I'll qu quickly click on add WLAN and similar to that uh, if you want to understand all these options here as well uh, you can go through the PSK video and you'll you'll understand it quite well what these options mean and then then take a call so I'll just enter the name as guest underscore test underscore SSID to begin with and uh, I'll straight away jump to the security option here so now if you want to configure a web auth authentication which is a layer 3 authentication you need to make sure on layer 2 you have open auth you don't need a layer 2 auth you don't you don't want to have and an authentication method on, on layer 2 and then again on layer 3 that doesn't make sense so click on open auth and then simply come to the guest portal page here in this video we are trying to explore what the internal guest portal of mist looks like so i'll click on custom guest portal and i see the moment i clicked on it i see two or three options uh, you know come up so here what it means is you know all the subnets that you want to allow uh, for the client before it gets authenticated is something you can mention here if you want to allow any host names let's say apple.com the client should be able to get you know uh, should be able to visit apple.com without even getting authenticated or if you want to make sure that he visits apple.com but cannot visit apple.com slash itunes this is where you write the exceptions you know uh, or, or any page that you don't want him to basically visit or be able to visit because just remember before layer 3 authentication the client does get an ip address right that's the reason why it's still able to create a tcp connection with the host names mentioned there okay perfect so i'll click on the config configure portal here i'll click on that and as i see uh, i i I'm, i get the guest portal options right uh, now this is where you configure the entire page these four tabs at the top uh, form fields customize labels customize layouts authorization you're going to go through that one by one so by default uh, before i do anything i'm quickly going to show you a preview guest portal this is how it will look like if I do nothing but just simply show you what what the portal will look like this is how it will look like so let me quickly close the tab and come right back here uh, the reason why you saw full name email address and company name in that in that page was because I've checked checked this here I can also add a custom field if I want and I can put this to required because I want to make sure the 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 person logging in you know logging in has to enter this field and then only you can move forward now if I if I click on preview guest portal again I will see one custom field come here right one one extra field has come here perfect so let me go back to that page and I'm gonna click on customize label now here I enter uh, sign in this is the message that is going to be displayed on top sign in to get in I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna write welcome to my world this is how I will configure this message I can also write in some hyper put in some hyperlink here uh, that is that is very much possible or I can also decide which language I want to put it in that's also possible uh, here uh, in the label customization if you remember we entered uh, custom field one right we enabled that I'm going to change that to let's say I want to know which what's the color of my uh, the employee car or the, the person logging in you know I want to understand what the color is and you know please provide the car color this this would be the error message if if the message if if he forgets to enter the uh, the car color uh, you know let me do this please provide the car color okay now let's see how it looks like i'm going to click on preview guest portal again let's see how it looks like there we go so uh, the field got updated to car color and name email address company name is definitely there and another field has come up which is car color that's that's good to know 
so what i can do is now i can go back and, and of course you can you can you can add more custom fields here and edit edit them edit them as well one by one and 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 you know uh, make your page uh, look better or or to your liking then i can go to customize layout the next tab once i do this i can make sure if if whatever is being displayed on the screen is on aligned to the left aligned to the right aligned to the center whatever i want i can do that let me just put it to center and then see how it looks like this is how it look like then right okay fantastic now either i can use the default logo or i can change the default i can change the logo let me just click on the logo it will give me an option to do an upload i can select my own logo and upload that that's because i want to select the logo of my own company i can do that or i or if you want i can change the color let me change it to brown uh, just just to let you know how it looks like and then let's do a quick preview you know this color change to brown you see the brown color here that's that's what we did so and of course the background image can be changed to whatever you want to also upload here you can do that that's also customizable now the next options next ne next option is hide powered by mist if i if i click on preview guest portal again this is what it means powered by mist here if you want to hide that you can go back and click on hide powered by guest okay now now that message will disappear i'll show you in a minute require acceptance of terms and conditions you probably have have terms and conditions mentioned there if i click on again you will see i accept terms and conditions this has to be this has to be there okay or i mean it's, it doesn't have to be there you can actually remove it if you want that's also possible now if you click on terms and condition terms of services you can actually enter some terms of services here according to your your liking and whatever your company's norms are or company's policies are you can enter it here I'm going to uh, anyway keep them all checked. Do not save user data is when a client logs in and you don't want him to save the data or uh, the, the miss to save the data. You can actually check this and make sure the data is not saved. Or if you don't want to do this, you can have the user opt it out. You know, you enter username and, the, and you know, your, your email address and, and your uh, name and your company name and your car color. And you don't want the users to you the user may not want you to save his data right so you can actually click on show opt out and then i'll just click on preview guest portal now there's a small box here do not store my personal information if i check it i'm giving him an option to opt it out that's what this means simple configuration and simple customization of the miss dashboard the miss dashboard internal miss portal is really really extensive you got a lot of options to configure guest portals and let me quickly turn this off and and if you remember i uh, clicked this so the hide powered by mist uh, th that icon has disappeared now okay so let me let me uh, go to the authorization part which is the most important tab in in this entire in this entire video uh, we we get this this tab will will tell us what kind of options and what kind of authentication options we get with the with the, with the guest authentication this is all built into the internal mist portal you don't have to have an external portal to uh, to create any of this this is all internal uh, you you can you get an option to uh, do enter a passphrase it could be a password of the day whatever you want to have a password for today you can enter the password and then the peak then then person walking in actually can uh, connect to the guest society he or she will receive the password from the receptionist and he can he, can, he or she can enter and, and get onto the internet that's 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 the old way of doing it another way is you know authentication code via email when you do that you actually uh, you, you know you're asked uh, you, you get a few more messages here you can actually configure the message that you want to, to be displayed uh, you, you get the option of uh, you know if you want someone to get authenticated and then redirected to this particular portal i'll write for example www.miss.com yeah, you know he can he or she once he gets authenticated successfully he can uh, he'll be redirected to this particular url after that okay and let's see how it looks like anyway so now here we go he gets an option to enter this 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 and sign in with email you get this send a code and and you're good to go okay uh what i can do is i can actually uh, uncheck this now and uh, yeah and i can actually we have another option of getting authenticated through text message mist integrates with the uh, sms gateway twilio you just need to enter your account and then you set up your set up your system set up your account here and then you know everybody can receive a message from uh, via text message as well in your network that is that is one way another way is sponsored guest access which is very widely used i would say now what it means is let's say i am working in the juniper office and one of my friends come in and they want to meet me okay so uh, he he or she will get onto the he he or she will get the, see the ssid uh, try to connect on it and here i will allow juniper.net 
okay what it means is anybody walking into the uh, trying to connect on the ssid uh, can enter an ip address ending uh, can enter an email address ending with juniper.net and i will receive an email uh, saying you know your friend is here or, or let me see how it looks like you can enter this and you can also enter the sponsor name sponsor email address that that's this would be my email address and my name somebody who's trying to log in a friend of mine and then notify sponsor once he or she clicks on it okay an email will be sent to me stating uh, somebody wants to you know this this person wants to uh, log into the internet and waiting for you at the reception and then uh, you know you can accept it and the moment you accept it the internet will be granted to that person that's how powerful this tool is that's how powerful this 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 access method this is widely used now this is pretty much if you walk into any office this is how they handle their 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 guest network now this is very interesting and this is very good you also get an option of sponsor email request will remain valid for 60 minutes this is something uh, you can change it to your liking whether it's 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes that's that's up to you uh, after this after this the the request will get expired now another way of doing this is if i want to let's say uh, uh, give you access through google sign in or you know give you access through facebook sign in app amazon sign in microsoft or azure sign in i can do all this the person walking in can just simply come here and enter let me let me click on preview guest portal again and just quickly enter your company name car color and then you can enter through through any of these sign ins that's that is that is also uh, that is also very extensive because I've never seen a portal like this internally made by any other VM. So this is something very good. Uh, Mist does not need anything, uh, any any third party uh, tool to to get this running. This is completely built in the cloud. You don't need any any other tool to to accomplish this. So I'm going to close this and come back here. So these are all the options that you get with the Mist uh, web authentication portal, internal portal. Uh, to to log in and 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 you know uh, get get authenticated. I'll just simply for now. I'll just test one two three is my password, and I'll just you know quickly do a create so that my SSID is created, and and that's 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 pretty much all the options we can explore in the other video. The the other options remaining. Uh, this is for uh, the external guest portal that you want to configure. We will we will talk about that in the other video. But again, guys, if you want to understand what all the other options in this SSID in this in this in this tab means. You, you need to go and watch the other video that I've created. I'm going to paste the link in the description box so that you can understand uh, all these options and then take a call accordingly. Perfect. Let me click on create so that we have the SSID created. Yes. So we have the guest SSID created. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for your, uh, for your time and you have a good day.